In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to control an OLED display. Connecting the display is pretty straightforward. You have four pins, the VCC, to which we connect to the 3.3 volt on the Arduino, the ground, marked as GND, which we connect to the ground of the Arduino, and then there are two data pins, SCL, which means signal clock, and SDA, which means signal data. The signal clock is the yellow wire, which is connected to A5, and the signal data is connected to A4. These two pins are special pins used for the I2C protocol. So that's it, you only have to connect these four wires and that's one of the advantages of an I2C OLED display. For this tutorial we're using the U8G2 graphical library and this library supports lots of displays. There's a gallery and here you can see an OLED display which I'm going to cover in another tutorial, here a monochrome display and it goes on and on and on with many different displays you can use and that's really nice because it's very versatile that's why I'm using this one. So on the website there is a list with uh, the supported display controllers and if you go to that page there you see there are a lot of displays which are supported by this library. So we are going to install this in the Arduino IDE. So first we need to install this library. Therefore we go to Sketch, Include Library and choose Manage Libraries. Now we search for U8G2 and as you see here there is a library by Oliver and that's the one you need to install. After this you can go to File, um, you see examples and here is U8G2 then you go to page buffer and there will be the graphic test so here is my graphic test however I've changed the code slightly with some comments so I'm going to switch to my version and uh, here you for example see the pin connections and everything so if I scroll a little bit down, you see a lot of constructors, but we skip that for now. Here you see the pin connections, which is the VCC, the ground, SCL and SDA. And I'm using this constructor for my display. And you might figure, how does he know? Well, I've looked it up on the website of UAG2. And the nice thing is, since we use an I2C protocol, the library already knows which pins to use. A4 and A5 are dedicated pins when you use the I2C protocol, so it knows that we use A4 and A5. So this constructor is also in the big list on top. I'm going to search for that so I can show you here on line 80. And as you can see, there are a lot of variants. Well, all these lines are for different type of controllers and displays. So if your sketch doesn't work, make sure you use the correct constructor. Also here this, it says there's a complete list available on this link. So you might want to have a look over there to see which display is uh, correct for your, oh, sorry, which constructor is correct for your display. Well, after adding this line, you're basically done. There is a lot of code going on because it's a demo. And what I recommend you to do is just have a look at the code, fiddle around and then you'll see probably that for example here U8G2 and graphic tests are shown up on your display. So the nice thing is that you learn how to use U8G2 by looking at this demo. Well, we're now ready to upload it to our Arduino. So I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's running on the Arduino. As you can see, our graphic demo is running on the Arduino. And another thing you might notice is that this display is bicolored. So here in the top there are some yellow pixels and on the bottom there are blue pixels. Don't think that this display is supporting two colors for a pixel. You can just highlight a pixel and depending on its position, it's for the top lines it's yellow and the bottom is blue. 
And this is especially useful if you use menus or you want to show a title in a different color. In another tutorial I'm going to show you how to work with the U8 library. But for now you are able to run the display demo. So now you know how to run the graphics test on your Arduino. In another tutorial I'm going to explain more of the code of this demo. But for now I recommend you to just dig through the code, maybe change some values and see what happens. I see you in the next episode.